Welcome to a new video of the Photovoltaic Warehouse. Today we would like to introduce a new backup system of the BOXPV line, which we are going to test on a Huawei Sun Dosmil IIKTL LI inverter, but it is valid for the whole range of Huawei inverters. As you already know, in order to take advantage of the backup of Huawei inverters, it is necessary to install the Huawei backup box, since without this element the inverter cannot work in this mode. This is because the backup box is responsible for isolating our system from the grid when we lose the connection to the grid, and for sending the corresponding signal to the inverter. This requirement is indispensable since it is strictly forbidden to give voltage to the grid when it fails or is cut off. Well, here we have our inverter, currently working connected to the backup box. I am going to explain a little how are the connections to be made. First, we would have our house panel, and they're the bulbs that would be the representation of the loads of our house. The first one would be the normal loads and the bottom ones would be the critical loads, the ones that we have to feed even when we have a power outage or a power failure. To wire the backup box, we would have to take from the IGA, which contains the electrical network, we would have to take a cable to the box. Likewise, we would have to take it to the inverter. The output of the inverter, we would take it to the corresponding thermal that feeds the loads and we would also have to take it to the box. To the box. Finally, we would have the communication cable. That depending on the inverter will have some connections or others. In this case with Huawei, we have to connect it in the COM port to pins 5 and 8. 8. To feed the critical loads, we will have to throw a line to the thermal that feeds the bulb of critical loads. However, we can also connect the loads directly to the box, as it contains the relevant and necessary protections to do so. For example, we could connect a plug directly and put a refrigerator then that refrigerator would remain powered when the mains power fails. These would be the connection lines that we would have to make. As you can see they are not very complicated lines, we would simply have to extend a little the ones we already have in a normal installation and if you have any questions or whatever the support team of the warehouse can help you in the implementation. Inverter Programming To perform the function test, the inverter must first be configured to switch to island mode automatically. We will do this from our cell phone with the Solar Fusion app. Within the application, we will go to the Me section and click on Start up the device. Here we will have to scan the QR that comes on the side of the inverter to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And once connected, we go back to the application and access the inverter. We will be asked for the installer password to enter, which, if we have not changed, the one that brings series our device will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, followed by a lowercase letter or C, H, A, A, N, G, E, M, E, changing. Once inside, the following menu will appear. We go to the settings section and select function parameter. In the list of parameters, we must activate isolation mode and configure the automatic switching in alternation between mains connection and island mode. Once we have seen the electrical connections and the inverter programming we need, we will proceed to perform the function test. What should happen in this test is that when the main switch is lowered, we will simulate a power outage. Simulate a fall or cut of the power grid. In that case the inverter will go to island mode and will keep the bottom light, which would be the reference of the critical loads on. The overhead light will be turned off because it is obviously only powered by the mains. The time between switching between island mode and normal mode is about one second for this inverter. We will then get a small cut off but then the bulb will come on. When the switch is flipped up, 
the normal house loads will be powered again and the roof rack light will stay on. However, the inverter needs some time to return to normal operation. It will have about 5 to 10 minutes in which it will try to synchronize with the grid again. But after that time it will return to normal operation. And so far the test of this new equipment, which as we have seen, works properly and is a very cheap option which we can use in different types of inverters. We hope that you have found this test very useful for the launch of the next product of the new brand Vox PV of which you will have news, very soon. See you soon and see you at Elalma Center Photovoltaico.com. But wait, wait! If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, it's free and you get lots of news, offers and discounts. And remember that you can find us in our online store at elalmacenterphotovoltaico.com and that you have discounts, promotions and exclusive news only for subscribers to our channel. Visit us at elalmacenterphotovoltaico.com and if you are a professional, enjoy special prices on all your orders. We are waiting for you.